want to talk about depression because it's very common in our community. They say at any stage, you take any time, 15% of all the males in our community will be depressed. Again, if you take any time, 25% or a quarter of all females are depressed. Why there's a difference, I'm not too sure, but there certainly is. More females are depressed than males. I don't know, it could be something obvious, like you look at some of the dickheads that females are going out, to, out with, I'd be depressed too, but I'm not sure. You have to ask the experts on that. The important thing is, is what is depression? It sounds like uh, something uh, fairly obvious, but you need to think about these things. So, depression is what's called a mood disorder. It's low mood, uh, you're flat, you're feeling blue, you're low, you know. Now, the opposite to that real lowness is a high mood or inappropriately high. So, and it's called mania. There you're sort of elated and happy, but too elated and happy for what you should be, you know, you sort of really, yeah? <laughs> if you know what I mean. And it's just not right, it's overdone. So there's the two ends of it. There's depression, there's mania, or over happy when you shouldn't be. And there's some people who get both. They get really depressed, then they get really high. And that's called bipolar. The important thing is, to be able to differentiate between depression and normal sadness. Like most normal people get sad, you know, like if Auntie Molly falls off the perch or your budgery gar is run over by a truck. Look, you, you cry, you know, you get upset and you get a bit howly bag about it. You know, it's normal, isn't it? It's natural. Equally so, if something really good happens to you, like, you know, a friend visits you that you haven't seen for a long time, or you, you finally get your trade or degree, you're happy. But you're not so happy that it's, it's out, of, out of context, if you know what I mean. And that's the other end of mania. So we've got to differentiate normal sadness and happiness from true depression and really low versus over, overly happy and elated where it's just sort of out of hand. So that's what depression is, that's what mania is, and bipolar are the two together. So what is the main symptoms of depression? Well, I divide them into three categories. The emotional symptoms, the mental symptoms, and then the physical symptoms. So let's have a look at each one. To start with, if you're really depressed, there's the emotional symptoms. You feel really flat, you feel low, and you don't have much interest in life, you don't enjoy golf anymore, you don't even want to go fishing. There's not the pleasure, you don't laugh as much as you used to. Equally so, there's then the mental symptoms. So your whole brain slows down, you're not as quick thinking, your memory's affected, uh, you don't remember things anymore, um, you don't perform well at work, so the brain slows down, and that's typical in depression, it's called the men mental symptoms. Then there's the physical symptoms, and what they are is um, the brain slowing down is reflected in poor body function, like you don't sleep as well, you tend to be slower in your movements, you tend to mope around, uh, often you have a less, sec less of a sex drive, and you're constipated. Everything just seems to slow down. So you've got the emotional symptoms, you've got the uh, brain mental function symptoms, and you've got the physical ones, and everything is reflected in a sort of a slowing down of everything. So I want you to think about that. Um, it's important that when you look around at your friends, you, you know, help them out and say, look, are you depressed? It's important to keep an eye on your mates because there's a thing called mass depression where they're depressed but they don't show the normal symptoms and that the close family members will notice a change but people who don't know them won't notice. So mass depression is where they put a cover 
on being low. And so this is all part of keeping a close eye on your friends and family. So I've just introduced a subject this week of depression. Um, it's very, very common. And the fear all of us have that if your friends or family are depressed, they might end up topping themselves, uh, committing suicide. And that is a terrible, terrible thing to happen to one of your close friends or family, but it is very, very common. So I want you to think about it this week, depression awareness. And next week, I'll tell you how doctors diagnose it. And the week after, I'll tell you the usual ways of treatment.